Hey, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Starter Cam, a.k.a. The Resident African, checking in one time for the one time. And yes, we are in the Dirty Daily Zoom room. And uh, our first special guest in the Dirty Daily Zoom room today is uh, my dog, Money Moo. What up, boy? Believe, believe. What's happening, man? You good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still and paid? Yeah, still paid, still straight forever. Right. Believe, believe, believe. believe. Come on, come on now. Dirty See, Daily, it's so. For those who don't know, Still pay move, you know what I mean? I've been following your career um, for a while now. Um, you, you, you've, you've been very consistent, you know what I mean? And I posted something on Dirty Daily the other day where I was like, uh, you know, a hit, a hit don't, a hit is a hit no matter who, you know, no matter what you hit it with, you feel what I'm saying? No matter what kind of, no, no, matter, no matter what kind of object you hit it with, it's still a hit, so. Um, you had this single that you've been pushing over the past three years. Explain your story, first and foremost, for people who don't know who you are. Well, for those who don't know, man, I'm Money Moose, still pasted straight, like, up-and-coming artist out of Atlanta. I'm from the east side, you feel me, Stone Mountain, but really the whole 20 east, I've been, you feel me, just running up and through there, and I've just been pushing, you know, my music, along with my people, with my team, my dog Red Push, my dog Mundo, you feel me? Like, and um, I'm just an independent artist, just they've been pushing, you feel me? And I don't know, it's just, it went up, that hit, bro. Just went up. I've been pushing that hit for years, for those who don't know, you know what I'm saying? To make it more clear. I've been pushing that hit for years. Um, and it's like, it's still going. And it just, we just redropped the hit remix, and it's up. How is it now? Cause see now, knowing that you, you dropped that single, um, like it was, I think it's like three years, right? Yeah. You dropped, really that, you dropped that single three, and imagine that. You dropped that single three years ago, and you still are getting new ears on it even today. Yeah, you know what I mean? So like, imagine that. How is How does it feel knowing that you've put in so much work with this one record, and to see all the accolades and all the, the positive feedback that you're getting even three years later? How does it feel? Um, it feels great. It feels amazing. It made me feel like, you know, like hard work pays off. Like I felt like I've been working hard and not I had so many ups and downs like over them three years with this shit, you know, just going at it. You feel me? So right. for that specific song to still be um, going and like it feel like I just day one in the beginning. You feel right. me? Like, like you just I, dropped I, it for the first time. Yeah, yeah, I just dropped it for the first time, bro. But, but like it's just like, it feel great, you feel me? That's it good. Like, nah, work. that's real good. And now, and now, that, and now that you got um, Moneybag Yo and Fujiano on the remix, you know what I mean? Let's take it back though. Let's take it back to, let's take it back to what? 2018, when you first dropped it. You know what I mean? Like when you first dropped this record, huh? Really, 2017 when I first dropped it. Sheesh, oh, 2017. God. Imagine that, uh, but that's, that's the thing. That's a, and that's, that's an testament to your work, though. You got to think like artists like Ella May dropped her record. Um, the Boot Up record was out for like two and a half years before it even touched radio. Before somebody even knew who it was, it be like that, man. Like yeah. it be like that because the world's so big, you know. So it's like you think that you're doing all, but it's like it's so many. Like how you say, New Year's here, bro. When you touch the world, yeah, you got to keep going, keep pushing on it. It's like. And, then to, and to have somebody as big as uh you got a newcomer and then you got a a, a seasoned a seasoned newcomer you know what i mean money back yo still is kind of he's seasoned but he's a newcomer as well you right. know you got a you got a coalition of, of some great newcomers on the song you know what i mean and yep. to have somebody like money back yo and fujiano on the yep. track like how did that how did that collaboration happen um it really happened you know when i did the situation with a uh boom man we was chopping up, me and Boom Man was already chopping it up, me, him, Red, you know what I'm saying? A couple other folks from the side. And um, we was talking about it because he felt just like what we felt about hitting, you feel me? He seen the vision, he like, you know, hitting still going, it's him, like, the same way we felt, cause we never gave up on it, even though we were dropping other songs and pushing other things, we still, that still was my biggest song that I had ever dropped, you feel me, at the time. And then, so, it's like, he was like, money bag. I'm thinking about money bag and food, like straight up. And then it was like, 
I'm like, hell yeah, cause that sound like it's gonna do what it do. Cause sometimes you just, you know, that's my first feature, really major. That's my first major feature wow. or anything. So it was like, we just, we put it together like that and literally like no time wasted. Like we got straight to that shit and like, and, in a, and like, you did all that in a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that, you know what I mean? In the uh -huh. pandemic, you still out here working. So, I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can uh, commend you for that too, because you know, at the end of the day, a lot of people are not sure which way to go during this pandemic because it's 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 affecting a lot of lives, it's affecting a lot of people. What's one thing during this pandemic that you've learned, or what's one thing that you've taught yourself to do and be better at during this pandemic? Um, uh, for me. One thing I definitely learned in the pandemic was just like, you know, how quickly the world can just, you know, flip on you like that. Supposedly, we never, to me, this is the wildest year, you know, that I done seen personally in my life since I've been. This is the craziest year for sure. And as far as the work, it really made me buckle down even more. Like I was already in the motion of working, working, but it made me be able to focus on other things that um, I say I was showing less focus to. Mm. like. I kind of focused on it more because it was like, you know, you had more time on your hands because it when everything shut down and it was like, I got to focus on other things. So right. it really helped me, but it also, it definitely showed me like, you know, don't take it for granted because the world could change. Like our lives could be different quickly. Like. Mm. Nah, and that's true. And that's so true. And um, just knowing that, you know what I mean? Knowing that you've got to make the right decisions and knowing that you've got to move a certain type of way, even with the pandemic that, of course, that we're going through now, um, what are some things that you think are uh, necessary to be kind of like, you know, seasoned on even when the music doesn't work? Because you got to think a lot of artists aren't even able to perform their music. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, we're, we're able to perform it, but it's like, you know, hit and miss here and there. So like outside of the music, what are you going to be doing outside of the music if, of course, you know, of course we can't go back out. If it's knock on wood, hopefully not happening, but if we can't go back outside, what's, what's something that Money Moves gonna be doing? Um, It just depends on then. what what aspect would you be saying, like, far as like- You gonna I, hustle, you gonna- Hustling, yeah, you feel me? I'm gonna be doing, you know. What you been doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, get it. I totally get it. Hey, man, we call it the pandemic over here. That's what I we heard call that. It, so. I heard that. And that's good, man. It's good. It's a good mentality to have, man. It's to still to still at least continue to keep that that hustle mentality. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, like now that we got this uh this hit and remix, right? We got the hit and remix. Now your music, of course, on and even with you not saying that you you know doing a lot of features, which I've never realistically heard a feature other than when I first heard that you had a feature on the record. I was like, what? He got a feature on the record? Well, yeah, let me let me listen to it. Let me at least hear who's let me hear who's on it and how they how are they coming behind Money Moo? Cause the 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 hit and hook is crazy, the verse is crazy, so they gotta come with it regardless of who they may be. So like being that you know now that you've got these these uh these 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 accolades with your hit and remix, what's next? What's the next move for for Money Moo? Um, the next move, you know, just keep dropping. I got so much heat started. It's already like. That's another reason why I feel so even grateful about it because it's like, like I say, man, that's oh my catalog alone, bro. I got the heat and the next move, but just I'm gonna keep dropping. I'm gonna show them like this ain't no, I ain't no one hit. You feel me, Wanda? And I got them bangers for them. Who's, so, who's somebody you're excited to work with if you ever get a chance to work with them? I mean, a couple people I'd be excited. Like I'm a student of the game. Like you feel me? I watch everybody. It's a I'm a fan of a couple of different artists, you know what I'm saying? So it's like specifically, and it's a lot, so. Right, yeah. whoever ends up falling in the studio. Like, yeah, you know, I just like for shit to be genuine too, but like. Yeah, exactly, that's real. I'm definitely eager to work, like, you know. Let me ask you this. At one point in time, there was a time when QC reached out, or uh, even if I don't know if they reached out or if they, you know, they might have reached out. I think they might have reached out. I think I saw something on your page where it was like P was in your DMs and, you know, there was some I, conversation. I, I, I pulled up on P, chopped it up. I fuck with P. He a real one. Yeah. No, God, bro, nobody even noticed, bro. P, bro, like back when we, I was pushing during all that after I dropped my first project, bro. Yeah. 
P got down, gave me two videos, shot two videos for Key Motion and shot them for me for free, for nothing. Like, after the first time I shook his hand and chopped it up, bro. Oh, wow. God. He fought me for E and Loaded. Like, no cap. So he just saw the vision and wanted to, he wanted to, he wanted to give back to what you had going on. Yeah, he was like, bro, I just like what you going. He wasn't, I wasn't ready, you feel me? At right. the time, like, but he was fucking with me though. And I fought with P now still to the day. I fought with P. Would you, would you, I mean, of course, Authentic is, you know, Authentic is a dope group of people. I love um, Boom Man and the whole Authentic empire over there. Um, but would you, if the chance, you know, presented itself, would you sign to a QC opposed to Authentic? I mean, I'm with Authentic, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, that's Loyal just to the I'm end. Rock. I like that. Whoever I'm rock, man, boom. And Authentic, the whole team, bro, they push me hard. They fuck with me hard. Like, right. I don't care about all the cap. Like, all right, I'm A, bro. AESP. That was going on. <laughs> and that joint venture, AESP, AE being, of course, Authentic, and then still pay, SP being still paid, your label. Um, is there any artist or producers? Of course, I know Mondo. You know, I know Mondo is a, uh, is a, is a great attestment to your career because he's helped you on a plethora of records, but are there any other artists coming up out of uh, Still Pay that we should be looking out for? For well, sure, definitely, man. Definitely gotta be looking. Well, shit, Mundo, first and foremost, my boy Mundo, he going crazy, artistry and producer, my boy. Okay, okay. Got it all the way, you feel me? That heavy out right now, y'all go listen to that. It's going crazy right now. Produced by my boy Buddha. We got my boy Rubber Band Red, he go dumb. He coming up, my boy E. Hayes. He got another vibe, more on the other end for the singer, for the ladies. Okay. Crazy. My boy Cash Boy going crazy. My boy Court is another producer too, king of the court. Some of y'all know, like, they gonna know what I'm talking about. He made some of my, he made that big that I dropped and a couple other things that I'm about to drop and roll out now. Okay, bro, okay. He go crazy too. We got producers, artists, all that, bro. Straight That's a beautiful up. thing, man. Hey, man, I'm proud of you, man. Look, I want to play a game with you. All right, before we get out of here, I want to play a quick game. It's called Hidden. <laughs> All right, we're going to play this game. It's called Hidden. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a question, and you just it's, it's going to be in pertaining to, of course, where you're from, Atlanta. So you got to just give me the answers as, as to whether it's hidden or it's missing. All right, hit or miss. All right, yeah. so in Atlanta, right, you go to Atlanta. You're looking for somewhere to eat. What's the spot that's hidden and what's the spot that's missing? Oh, looking for somewhere. Like, if you want to sit down or pick some up, though. What, what I mean, okay, being that in a, we're in a pandemic, let's say you got to pick it up. Uh, pick it up. I say uh, Kev's Kitchen hidden. Kev's so, Kitchen hidden. It's hidden. It's, it's hidden. hidden. Now, which spot? Now, which spot? I know Kev's what's, Kitchen. What's cracking is hidden, too. Okay, no. okay. The crab leg spot. Yes, sir. What's crab? Okay. Okay. And what spot what spot do you think is missing? If you in Atlanta and it's and it's and it ain't it ain't all the way there yet. They they still they still might got a little ways to go. I tell them cuz I ain't going in them spot. <laughs> <laughs> What's one spot you went to that you'll never go back to? A spot that I went to that I'll never go back to. I'll probably, I'll probably never go back to the ocean there. I ain't like that, John. Okay, see, I never even heard of seeing that. That's, that's, that's good. Now I know not to go there if I ever saw, you know, because you know how they be trying to schedule meetings and stuff. Like, hey, yeah, let's go meet at the ocean. Oh, nah, dog. Nah, Money Moose said that spot ain't hidden, dog. I can't do it. <laughs> no, that, no, that me personally, personally. Oh, I, I get it. And, and everybody has their preference. All right, so let, let's do one more. All right, so clubs, right? Club spots in the city, right? If you want to go to a nice strip club, right? You got to go to a nice strip club in Atlanta when you come to Atlanta. Give me some some spots in Atlanta, some clubs in Atlanta that's hidden and some spots that's missing. Well, once again, that's just like about what you like. But me personally, everybody who know me, well, I'm strokers. I mean strokers, bro. <laughs> Eastside veteran. <laughs> Stroke show, kicking it, bro. Good food in the cool lane. If you like some more, I like the flame. You feel me? But um, I like a lot. It just depends on what you like. I like going sit down, eating a cheetah, bro. You feel me? Like right, I, right, I right. All the strip clubs. But 
where I be struggles. But sure. Okay. So ain't no strip clubs in Atlanta missing then. All the strip clubs in Atlanta pretty much is on. Oh, um, probably they're missing, but you ain't been probably, there. But you know, I ain't in them. <laughs> you ain't in there. I heard that. It's a good eight of them though that you could definitely be hitting. Okay, well then, then you good. Once you come to Atlanta, so for all those that's watching this, once you come to Atlanta, you're gonna be set once you come to the strip club scene in Atlanta. Hey man, look, this is my dog, man. This is my dog, my player partner, my East Side veteran. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand you're an East Side veteran, bro. You holding some weight now on that East Side, bro. They gotta they gotta say money move when they say riding through riding through the East. You know what I'm saying? So nah, I, I'm proud of you, bro. Um, I'm gonna continue to believe in the campaign because the campaign, of course, is still going strong. Um, let them know how they can follow you. Let them know how they can follow you. What's coming up next? If we got this project, you know, if you want to drop some gems on us and let us know about this project coming up. We got the project coming. You feel me? Um, it's still paced, still straight. Money move. You know what's going on? You feel me? Um, we got the project coming. We got the believe gear coming. We got the still pay gear coming. Just like that. We'll have a project soon too. It ain't gonna How be soon long. you think? You ain't no ain't no date yet. No, it ain't no date. It ain't no date, but it ain't gonna be long though. Like it ain't gonna be long. It's coming. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we gonna milk this, we're gonna milk this hidden remix for everything everything is worth. You know what I'm saying? Until we go back outside. Like, yeah. Just dropped it again. But we dropped uh, exactly. it five days ago. So it's the beauty of it is that it's at half a million now. I seen it in, in five days, it's already at half a million. So that's a beautiful thing, man. So if you yeah. haven't if you haven't already go check that money move still pay I mean that money move uh hidden remix out yeah. now on all platforms but the video is out now on World Star go check that out and um and yeah man it's money move man still pay shout out to my brothers over there at Authentic and um and yeah this is another dirty daily Zoom room convo Lee yeah hold on.